Hi there, Peaks and Professors crew. Hi there, Daphne and Lisa. I love you dearly and I wish you could be with me right now up here in the mountains of Ojai, where we were planning to take our Peaks and Professors hike in April. So we're doing it virtually. I very much hope that every one of you is safe and secure and finding ways to tend to your souls during this time of shelter in place. My own experience of living through this event, which has changed the world profoundly almost overnight, often rasters between two viewpoints. I look at the news, trying to be careful to rely only on reliable, vetted sources, and see a global disaster. And then I switch to looking down at my feet, and I observe that they are still on solid ground. I observe my actual experience in the present moment, and all is well, I'm grateful to say. To meet this moment, I and the rest of us must learn to see things two ways at once. We must be informed about the seriousness of this epidemic and act accordingly, while at the very same time appreciating whatever level of security and health and webs of relationships of love that we have in the present moment. This appreciative attention is as much a responsibility for us as is following public health guidelines. My wife and I, Roberta, were sheltering in a very beautiful place, our home in Ojai. And every day I take a brisk walk up the flanks of the steep mountains that surround this inland valley, carpeted with citrus groves, which are now in wonderful bloom. It was up these mountains that we planned to take our last Peaks and Professors hike later this month. And we planned to enjoy a hearty meal with you and an overnight stay with you at our place. Robert and I are sad that this won't happen in April, but know that each of you and all of you are invited to come for a visit and a hike with us when it's safe once again. Our plan was to hike up Sysar Canyon in the upper Hoai Valley up into the mountains. And I've been walking this trail often since the quarantine began. I've noticed that my relationship to the environment along the way is changing. As I reflect on the changes in my own life and the life of humanity on this planet. Now, I have a job at USC as the Senior Associate Dean of Religious and Spiritual Life but I have a different job on the Sysera Canyon Trail. It is my job, my responsibility, to appreciate what I experience of the natural world along the way. I stop and I stare at the vistas of Topa Topa Cliffs. A few years ago, I wrote a little poem about it, about this wall of rock, which lights up with rich color at sunset on clear evenings. And the people in Ojai come out and worship it. They call it the pink moment. Great power moves in the silent austerity of a distant mountaintop cliff, glowing above fanned skirts of fallen rock. Shelf of stone, above all, the throne that is the king. I stop along the trail to admire and attend to the plants and the animals. A few years ago, the devastating Thomas fire roared through these mountains. The Ceanothus, also known as the California lilac or the soap bush, you can take the leaves of this plant and rub them between your hands in the creek and your hands will soap up. A soap plant, natural soap source. The Ceanothus were burned up into blackened sticks in that fire. But now, just over two years later, shiny light green stalks have sprung out from those sticks. And with them, dense clusters of tiny white or blue flowers have bloomed, 
filling the air along the trail with a sweet fragrance. There's poetry in those blooms, raised in the air by those blackened trunks. How long will it take for new life to spring and bloom from the consequences of our present crisis? I ask myself as I enjoy the scent of the Cianobas. But that's projecting my own preoccupations onto those plants. Deeper attention, the attention that is love, asks me to do more, to let go of my own interpretations and categorizations and names that I give to them, and to let what I call the Ceanothus bushes be whatever they are on their own terms, and appreciate them as they are in themselves, inviting me into the mystery within and beneath them. I wish we could be on that trail right now to say nothing of wishing that we could be together there in a few weeks. But I suppose I need to let go of that wish and choose another in its stead. And wish that wherever you are, you can put on a mask and go outside and take a walk and join me in the human responsibility to attend to nature and appreciate what we find in it. Give the lizards and the frogs and the flowers and the stalks of grass the attention that is love. Let go of the names and narratives we read into what we see and let what we call trees and what we call birds be what they are in and for themselves so that we can hold and be held in the eternal now of the present moment. From this loving attention, will flow our activist commitments to preserve human life and the lives of all beings and creatures on this planet. So let's stay together virtually. Call me, text me, email me anytime. Until Peaks and Professors meets again, hike on.